Shannon Easton breaking the grass ceiling to become the first woman to referee an NFL game when the Chargers play the Packers, the league vetting and accepting her. And ABC's Lindsay Davis is here with more. Lindsay. Good morning, Amy. Some say Shannon Easton was off sides last night, that she got her shot wearing the iconic black and white striped referee jersey, not because she earned it, but because she crossed a picket line. But no matter how you look at it, she still made history. Hair tucked under her black cap, Shannon Easton made history. Taking her place as line judge at the Packers Chargers preseason faceoff Thursday night in San Diego. Easton became the first female to officiate a pro football game, a sport played and coached entirely by men. Well, going in there, breaking it up. Way to go, Shannon. It must be the 21st century because uh, to think that this could happen in the National Football League, it's, it's a big breakthrough. Easton has been refing college and high school games for 17 years, but critics argue she doesn't have enough big game experience, saying she's being used as a pawn in a labor dispute between the league and the referees union. Her goal tonight, she said that no one notices her. The league shut out its regular refs on June 3rd until the two sides can agree on a new contract. Other right female referees refused to cross the picket Watch line, but line. Easton agreed to fill in, even though it means the union may not allow her to ever officiate in the NFL again when the lockout ends. My guess would be that she said, yes, I'm going to cross the picket line. Yes, I'm going to go and do something that could break the union, And uh, but this is my chance. Well, I got my picture taken with her uh, before the game because it's, you know, it's history. <laughs> Things were much different for women when Violet Palmer became the first female ref in the National Basketball Association back in 1997. Palmer endured criticism and sexist taunts. One former player once said she should go back to the kitchen and cook him breakfast. As for Easton, the NFL commissioner says the labor lockout is an opportunity to train and hire other women referees, something Easton and her fellow female officials would no doubt call a win. And Easton was told that her hat and whistle would be taken to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton co to commemorate the occasion. She said that her goal last night was to not be recognized. Uh, not yeah. so much. <laughs> that didn't work out so well for her, but that's so much pressure for her. Right. Yeah, I think that she handled it with grace, though. She did. Lindsay, thanks so much.